Hey everybody and welcome back to it, Faster Than Light, the advanced edition. I am determined as ever to try and beat the, the flagship. Um, it seems that the best ship I can use at the minute is this. We did unlock the rock ship a couple of uh, videos ago. But still, I still feel that this is the best option. Um, so what we're going to do is, I'm going to rename this. The sub ship. So, I've got some subs that have actually been posting, uh, that have posted in the past. Uh, so I'm going to try and get the people who have actually uh, posted a lot of comments. It doesn't show up on my actual uh, thing that is that he's subscribed. I'm assuming he is because he keeps commenting, and that is Griffin. Accept uh, you, and then we're going to have Cory. Uh, Posted on uh, some of me um, uh, Starbound ones a while ago, and who else is there? I think Billy for Billy Brame, who requested the uh, Martian uh, run through of uh, War of the Worlds. So hopefully, you three you are the chosen ones this time. Um, like I say, it's just the ones off the top of my head who have actually uh, commented on that. Uh, if you would like to, <laughs> I know it's a bit, a bit naff, but um, if you are wanted to uh, participate in the destruction of the uh, Rebel flagship, uh, then uh, yeah, feel free to comment on that and get fresh in my mind, and then I'll, I'll know that to choose certain people, because as it is, they're the only ones that spring to mind so far. So let's uh, start. Uh, at the date you carry battle, blah 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 blah, we already know this. Asteroids fighting asteroid fields is dangerous, but use it to your advantage. Take out the enemy shields and let the rocks take care of the rest. Right, so let's switch on his weapons straight away. We're going to jump uh, down. Try and explore as many as we can. Uh, no life signs, that's a waste of fuel. Just, just, uh, there's a distress beacon right off the bat, but we're just going to head down here first into a terrible fight situation uh, because there's a, a solar flare. Uh, they have got uh, a missile launcher, so we are indeed going to take some damage here, it would seem. So what we're going to do is we're going to fire Artemis on the weapons and burst laser on the shields. I'm only going to really try and use Artemis if they have uh, a missile. Because missile is definitely going to do something. Well, and we missed with the mi- oh my god. Terrible news at this early stage. Because Artemis- our oh, Artemis missed. And they've taken off our, our drive pilot system. They are wanting to surrender and at this early stage that's not bad. So we are going to uh, accept that because the missiles and fuel was quite uh, a decent reward. Solar flare imminent. We are probably going to take some da more damage here because we can't actually jump anywhere. And of course, Billy is going to be required to go over here, put out a fire, and then we'll jump to the next next place. Ideally, it could do. We've been. It's actually been destroyed as a ship. Give us more scrap. Ah, oh, damn you! If it's going to do it again, I'm going to jump. I just need to repair. Uh, can't really. No, I suppose I could use you. Here comes another one. Let's give it a jump. Jump. We'll go down here, then we'll go to the distress beacon. Hopefully, the fire missed us. I think it has. And we've gone into another one. Another solar flare. And we don't have any shields, but they don't have anything. Oh, yes, they do have something that will hurt us. Hurt us greatly. And we're in trouble straight away. Causing fire. Um, okay. Um, you, my good sir. They're not going to miss with the, their weapons, so just get to the weapons bay for the time being. And open you as well. Uh, get ready to just take down their drone system. We are taking unnecessary damage here. But the burst laser will hopefully put a stop to that, and it does indeed. Uh, just keep focusing on it as well. Right, you're now fixed. You might as well go to the med bay. Uh, Kari, you might as well for what it's worth. We'll shut the doors. There we go. And uh, they can't actually do any damage to us at this moment in time, so you might as well get in the med bay as well. That is going to cause us some damage though. Let's see where it lands, and we'll focus all our energies on it. Ooh. Right, straight away, we need to... That is a nasty solar flare. You two are going to go in there, I can just open the doors for that one. Uh... Yeah, we're going to have to open the doors here. We should win this fight, it's just going to be a bit of a pain resolving it. Uh, burst laser on the, I don't know, the pilot system so then we're not going to miss. 
They've gone in there probably a bit prematurely. Yes, they have. They're going to have to get healed up. I've uh, done that a bit wrong. Right, okay, so. Close the doors now. Open some doors to let in some oxygen into that area there. Uh, then, if you want to go in there, and I don't know, you for the time being, I need to keep firing, I keep forgetting. Drone system is, gonna is about to come back on. Not anymore. Burst laser on, I don't know, weapons. Here comes another solar flare, which is dreadful news for us. Uh, get back in there. Fire is in the weapons room this time. We're gonna put the burst laser back on. Just destroy the ship already. Let's just uh, close up some doors. Right. Close that up. Close that up. Uh, who was the pilot again? Was it Griffin? I think so. Let's go back to stations. Yeah. Corey. Well, the weapons are now done. Right, you need to get out. Get out in the bed bay. Fire once the fire goes out. Because we can't actually kill this. This is dreadful. This is a dreadful start. Open that door as well. We need to put out the fire, then we'll close all doors. Put out, come on, put the fire out. Right, we can actually jump away soon. Here comes another flare thing. Right, close doors. Uh, you need to get back on weapons, you might as well just join. They can't actually do any damage unless they repair. Right, more fire. And there's one on the doors now as well, which isn't good news. So we don't want the doors to blow up, otherwise we will be in a bit of a pickle. But it looks like we are going to lose his doors! Sweet! Get those weapons fixed, get the burst laser back on, just get this finished. End this! What a tricky start we've had, and we can't shut any doors. Um, so I need... Billy! You need to come through here. We'll worry about the, the guns later. Right, both of you are going to go on doors. Just destroy the ship, please. Oh my god, this is so frustrating! Close all doors. Let's get rid of you, get rid of you. You're going to have to, I don't know, go down here or something. Get rid of you. Go in the sensor room, please. Need to put this out. Why is he not dead? Really? Drone system. Oh, the da finally they are dead. Right, now. The pilot system is out. We need in... Oh, it would help if we open that door and that door as well. Close you, close you, close... no. Yeah, that'll do. Get back in the uh, what, in the engine room. Put out the fire, please. Thank you very much. Right, um, we need to be quick about this. Get in there. No, we're gonna have to wait for the oxygen. More fire, but this time in the back. We should be okay to move on now. Hopefully. This has been a dreadful start. Took more than half power. I've only had two fights. People need healing as well, which is uh, terrible. Billy in particular. So once we, we've got we've charged, which we have, we can now jump to a distress beacon, which is probably going to cause us some more pain and anguish. Right. Uh, the distress signal is coming from a small space station orbit in an un uninhabited planet. Their satellite defense system has gone haywire and, and their repair crew can't approach without being fired on. Promise to help. Fire. I'm going to get some sort of reward, which is good. Now we can have, chan have a chance now to heal up. We're not under threat. Put the Artemis back on. We're going to knock the med bay off as soon as everyone is fully healed. Um, let's get everyone in. And then... That's just about right, yeah. So let's get everyone back to their sta stations, yeah. Uh, not them a bay off, put it on engines. Seems like a good idea. Like a smart idea. Head up here. It's a bit of a terrible start, if I'm honest. Uh, we can buy a slave, but no, we're going to attack the slave of scum because, you know, why not? Artemis on the weapons, please, because they have got a, a very strong chance of doing us some uh, mischief. And we're going to try and take, off, take down the shields as well. They have actually boarded us. Which is 
bad news for us. Uh, I want you to get on there. And then we're going to do a number on you with regards oxygen. I should do it. Close that door. Starve them of oxygen. They've now got to beat up doors to get in. So we are going to do some damage. We did take out, out one of the weapons. Well, their weapon, should I say. He's now in the med bay, but he's going to be starving of oxygen. He's heading for the shield room. And he's gone back, so we can now close all doors. And then get... Well, just wait around here somewhere. No, okay, go the wrong way. Die of some... So, uh, some what? Uh, Jorlak is going to join us. We're going to go to the med bay. Because... Uh, just seems like the right thing to do. We have now got Jarlak who can sit on sensors. And then Billy can go back to his weapons. So we're doing okay now. We're kind of recovering. We're going to head down here. So now, once you arrive, your screen lights up with warnings. A nearby pirate seems to have advanced hacking tools and they've tried to shut down your engines. Great stuff. Uh, your crew manages to keep them barely operational and you move into attack. Right, so we can't do anything there. Apart from... Maybe Artemis their weapons and burst laser their shields. Seems like a smart idea. The main thing here is we're going to take some damage thanks to the Artemis. Unless of course they actually misses, but we've only got a 10% evasion chance, so it's very unlikely. There you go. And Ratan has weapons as well, which is exactly what you need, what you always wanted for Christmas. And they've still got their Artemis up and running, which is fantastic news indeed, because our Artemis is useless and just missed. Here comes another one. Don't land on weapons. Oh, of course it lands on weapons. Now we are pretty much a, a sitting duck. So we need to get the weapons up and running. And we have first laser weapons. Here comes another missile on our faces. It's time the engines. Right, we've got the weapons back online anyway. We should get a shot away. Corey, get back to the uh, engine room and give that a bit of repair. They, they really don't like our engines. But we've taken off their weapons at last. Keep firing at the uh, weapons, please. That should be the end of them. And this is start off as a pretty poor run, but it's, you know, you know, you know exactly why. It's purely because the, those two nebula star systems are right off the uh, bat. So we are struggling at this early stage, but we've disposed of the pirate scout, and we got 22 scrap for it. I'm just thinking, is it worth upgrading something at this moment in time? Uh, probably a power bar, just, just to start us off. Uh, get everything back powered up and, and uh, up and running. Right, so we're back to full strength. Uh, although you two need to heal up, so you might as well go ahead and do so. We've only got 10 hit points, which isn't a great place to be, especially if we come up against a, a breach, a breach missile. Right, so let's just uh, save the current positions and we'll jump to the next uh, location. Excuse me. So we're up against. Uh, Oh, you did set an automated rebel scout attacking a small refueling outpost. Harris, Harry Ward, take them on. They have mind controlled our pilots, which means we are going to take damage no matter what. So what we are going to do is we are just going to fire straight on their weapons because that's going to cause us some serious damage. He will come back around shortly and he will repair the uh, system. The shields, shield regenerator thing doesn't really bother us. They've actually breached us, which is terrible. And now uh, you can get back in there and fix, please. In fact, the next place I'm going to fire is the mind control unit. Uh, we are going to need to repair that, so you might as well both just get on it, because they can't actually do any damage, especially as they are breaking into a million pieces. And we got another bit of reward as well, so that's good. Uh, we do need the store. Right, you need to get to the med bay before you die. Let's take a second to heal up and then get back to your relevant. Oh, here we go. We're going to have to pause it here, just bear with us. Sorry about that everyone, uh, I've been waiting in for a parcel and it's finally just come. So for today, this is going to be the last video I do, probably. Uh, unless I die pretty damn soon. So, right, what have we done? We've healed everyone, get everyone back to the stations. And then we'll jump to the distress beacon. Then we'll go to the store, because we are going to need to heal up. We'll, offer, we'll try and shield it. Took damage, of course. So we'll go to the store now. Three bars of health isn't really a good place to be. Um, clone bait? No, that's no good. Bombs? I don't really want them. Hacking stun? That's not really what I, I want. Um, 
Hmm. Wouldn't have minded cloaking, but it's not looking like I'm going to be able to get it, so let's just fix as much as we can. Well, we'll get to about half. Oh, uh, hmm. Yeah, that'll do, I think. Uh, no, a bit more. Get to green. There we go. 421 it leaves us on, so then we're going to have a look at a ship. Probably upgrades. There's dodge chance. I think. Do shields and dodge chance. So for the time being, we can have dodge chance. And then we'll go to. Uh, that one can't reach the exit, can it? No. Go to the exit. Go to the next sector. We need to definitely get a uh, second bar of shields. Uh, hmm. Accept a bribe. They, only, they have a beam uh, and a, a shield. You know, attack the uh, pirate. Pirate can be their hero. Baby. Let's take down the weapons. In fact, I might send an Artemis on the weapons. Burst laser on shields. Hopefully, the Artemis will land. And it has this time for once. I don't know if it actually does any damage. I don't think they did because we're so on green. I'm trying to fix everything. Fire on weapons, please. Boom, boom. They are actually uh, giving us a more generous bribe. But for me, it's still not enough. Enough in my eyes, anyway. Matt, this is art great at repairing. That's why I targeted the weapons first. But we, the, that should be it. Of course, it is. So when they've got no pilots, that is a time where everything is going to hit. Right, so... Still can't upgrade as shields again. So we're going to go to the next sector. Definitely going to go, going to, go to the engine controlled. Probably going to go this route because I hate nebulas. So, we have now, we're now in energy space. Might have been threatening the engine car worlds, but you should be able to suck up for your journey. It's nice to know. So let's head down. As you know, uh, as you are probably well aware, the ships will start to get a little bit harder. We're going to aid the civilian ship, so obviously we're going to get in a battle. They're going to have uh, someone on the controls. Then we, they're going to send a mantis over. They've only got one crew member. So for that reason and that reason alone, I'm just thinking: is it worth taking down the NG man? Send one on that, I think. That seems like a smart idea. Look, we're going to take some damage without a doubt because they've got an Artemis. They're going to attack us in a shield room, so I want Mantis to... No, actually, I want Mantis still there. You in the... I want you in the door room, and then I want all the oxygen out of there. So the doors are working. Right, we hit the uh, the main thing, so we should be able to hit their weapons. There we go. Weapons are offline. And we'll keep firing on that. They actually hit our sensors, didn't they? They should be nearly dead. Burst laser on weapons again. They've got teleported back, which is good news for us. I'm just going to close up all the doors. Get back on weapons, please. Die in the process, because I completely forgot about that. Boom, boom, boom. And we actually killed the Mantis. So, if we fire on the uh, engine, the drive system. But no, he's going over to weapons. And they're dead. Alright, so we got some hull points repaired as well, which was very nice of them. Very kind indeed. Let's get back there just to heal a little, uh, a little bit, slightly, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we haven't got it powered, have we? Would help. Right, so we're now in a position to go to our ship, upgrade our shields. And then, if we knock off that and that, we have two bars of shields, which is probably going to be slightly more important. Let's head across to this distress beacon. We'll upgrade as reactor next. We'll promise to help. It's the same one again. We got the same reward again, which allows us to do that, which is fantastic news for us, because now we can do that. So then we can go forward, because that's not a dead end, but uh, we'll go this way. So it's turning out to be a half decent run, although now we're up against uh, something with a, that's going to cause us some serious pain and anguish for the simple fact that they've got this Zoltan shield, and all I've got is that. They've got an Artemis, it's definitely going to do us some damage. Which, uh, I can't do anything about the engines because they've uh, hacked it somehow. So we're going to take pain, it's definitely, uh, definitely, um, 
um, I can't even think of the right word to say. It's definitely uh, going to cause us some pain. Yeah, we've lost his oxygen already. So, Billy, if you'd like to just uh, tend to that. We have not got our miss. We are going to fire on their weapon system to hopefully de deactivate. No, we're not. We're going to miss. Fantastic news. Right, so let's just fire the burst. Yes, yeah, so they, they hit every single time. We miss. And we didn't take off the weapons. We're going to fire another Artemis in the hope that it knocks it offline. And it does. And now our doors are knackered as well. And he's the slowest repair in the land. So he needs to get over there as quickly as possible. Oxygen is online. Um, let's just get across. Let's get to the doors. So the doors are actually offline at the minute. Pilot system so we don't miss. There we go. And then we're in for weapons, definitely. They'll probably get a missile away here. Right. Did he get a missile away? Surprise, su surprise, surprise. But we might have to knock him offline. One more hit should do it. Basically, the Artemis is up again. Right, so get back to your weapons. Fix that for us, please. Might as well put that on for the time being. We can jump away if we really need to. Oh, yes. There you go. You see the missile come in. And actually causes some more pain. It's sometimes I think it's it's ridiculous sometimes what happens with this uh, with this game. Right, so we're just going to I'm going to send them in, but we're going to open all doors to let as much oxygen as possible in there. Doesn't seem to be working. Right, it has worked. That's a very smart idea. They fixed the hole. Now they're fixing the sensors. We can now see again. We're going to heal up. And move on to the next part. We're gonna lose the med bay. Put you on that. Uh, send you back to. Oh no! What am I doing? There we go. Heal up fully, please. Right now you can go back to your stations. Knock that off. Put that on there. We're gonna jump over here. So now we've got a rock ship with an Artemis. Surprise, surprise. Artemis is. They seem to be the bane of my life, my existence at this moment in time. I've got a clone bay here, so that means I can't really be like destroying crew members. Um, so what we're going to do is, I'm thinking fire on the uh, pilot system, and then fire an Artemis on the weapon, so I've got no guarantee, uh, so uh, no guarantee of missing. Let's just shut all doors. Would help. We are going to take some damage as always. Not off their systems, they've not off ours again. Firing missile on their weapons, they do have a resist, but it doesn't really matter because I've done a, a, a massive number on them. Done a massive number on them. Burst laser on the weapons again, further. And then we'll aim for the weapons again because that's like the fastest repair time I've ever seen. And Jolak is going to improve on repairing. Whether it's going to be enough, I don't know. I didn't realize they had the system repair drone guy in there. I mean, that was the fastest repairing I've ever seen. Unless when it's red, it doesn't really affect it. They powering up the FTL. Uh, if it says imminent, then I will uh, target again. Now, if he was there, or there was two of them in there, I could understand it getting repaired really, really quickly. Boom, boom. And they're down. 19 scrap. Get a reactor power. And stick it on his engines. Wrong way. Right. Oh, jo Jolak is... Uh, kind of hurt so let's send him there power that up for a second get you back and then carry on let's go down here seems like a smart idea right so we're up against a rebel fighter with a teleporter and an Artemis surprise surprise and a chain gun chain gun as Kikosia would say right so I'm thinking you know what, Artemis on the pilot system, they've boarded us. Um, Jolak, you can assist Billy in here. I'm going to Artemis the pilot system. And it looks like that missile's going to hit near our weapons. So we're going to fire straight away on weapons. We end up missing. And we end up missing as well, which is fantastic. But at least we took off temporarily uh, one of the weapons. Oh, it's gone out. It's burst into flames. So let's aim for the uh, pilot system. Try and uh, refrain from using any uh, missiles. For the foreseeable future, anyway. Burst laser on the engine so they can't get away. 
Jarlak is fully healed, get back on senses. Boom, boom. They're both fixing the weapons, so we need to take that down. Fat. Artemis. Boom. No. We'll not sur accept surrender. We are greedy. We want to kill you all. All the time. Boom, boom, boom. Boom! Destruction! High reward! Right, so we've got 33 scrap. If we go here, we might better get some more scrap. Before we go to the store. Right, okay, so we're going to participate in their study, Zoltan Research. Get 11 scrap. For nothing. Can't really uh, complain. Uh, we'll head to the store because there's nowhere else really we can go. Probably repair some of us hull. Right, so let's have a look what they've got. They've got a Pegasus missile. Takes a long time. Hull beam. Um, that would be quite good, but I don't think I can actually get it. No, I can't get it, unfortunately. We can get a... Oh, no, we can't. We'll just fix all this hull. Buy a bit of fuel. Buy it all. Make sure we've got enough. We can't actually... No, we can't afford anything else. They're all like... Uh, Missile based weapons. So let's carry on. We've got we've played us hull anyway at least. That's uh, one positive anyway to take into uh, the next sector. Or the next location. Might as well buy that as well. And then we'll uh I think we can make it there. Uh the NGI are waiting you at a beacon with their weapons online. They explain a computer virus is wanted for hostile acts against it. oh god. NG multiple counts of binary scrambling, nano disillusion and variable interference. Uh, hold on, no, let's not, because I remember what happens last time, they'd actually absolutely destroy our weapons and we've got to, no choice but to fly away. So we're going to attack them instead. The NG be downed, no one threatens your ship. You prepared for you prepare for a fight. They have drones. Their weapons don't really scare me. So what we're going to do is, I'm just going to aim straight for... Just in case, I'm going to aim for the weapons. But there's not, not, not going to be any uh, Artemis usage here. Hmm. Weapons are offline now. That weapon would actually be able to hurt us. Had that kept firing. And obviously they're going to keep repairing it, so I'm just going to keep... As if I actually got a shot through, I can't believe that. I mean, a, a little bit of shock there. The engines are going to get mauled in the face anyway in the end. Unless, of course, we don't get hit. But at least now we've actually uh, set a fire in there. So let's just, just, just keep firing. You're hurt. You're not getting healed, neither. You're going to die now. No, you're not. You're going to get out of the way, you jammy, jammy so-so. Let's keep firing on the, on the weapons. This is the only way, really, we can avoid any uh, damage. Boom, boom. Oh, we only got one hit there. That's pretty bad. Let's keep firing on the weapons. Could fire on the on that system, but it, it's too much to risk. We've got to knock, knock the weapons off at every opportunity. And next time, it should be uh, a, a painful death for them. So, as you will see shortly. There you go. They didn't love the D. That's all I'm going to say. Right, so we've got another star, but no real benefit for us. We'll head here. There are a number of merchant ships, ships passing through this area despite the threat of Mantis evasion. No doubt interested in buying the efficient, efficient te technology of the... Well, thanks for telling me that. Is there anything actually happening? Appears not. Let's go to the exit then. Right, we've arrived. We can buy crew members, unfortunately. I can't hire anyone because I don't have enough scrap. Let's go to the next sector. We'll go to the Zoltan homeworlds as much as it pains me. Th I hate the nebula. Right, so you arrive in Zoltan space, and we're going to get shot in the face. Can I go across there? It can. So I'm going to go down here first. Kari, I've just realised, is currently uh, injured, and we're under f under threat at the minute. Kari's what? The engine guy, in it? Yeah. So they've got two shields. So I'm feeling that tonight is a good night. It's going to be a good night. And I'm thinking... We take down, we try and take down the weapons at all costs. Because uh, Artemis is going to cause us some serious jip. See if it lands. It does land. 
And there's a fire in there, we might as well fire again. They hit us on our oxygen. We've knocked their weapons off completely, so for the time being, you're able to go in there and help assist. Uh, so that it doesn't... Oxygen doesn't... Uh, flood out. Right, we've got Artemis ready again. They're all in there, so I'm going to fire again. And a burst laser. Kill one of the crew members. And auction is nearly finished. Indeed, it is finished. Uh, you need to get back on there. You need to get back in there. Burst laser on the Artemis can go on the shields. This time we've hit. We've hit them. It's not a bad offer. I'm not exactly short of fuel though at the minute. Boom. All right, we've got one hit. One hit wonder. Uh, we'll keep on the weapons because their crew member is nearly dead in there. And indeed he is dead now. So all we need to do now is hit them once. Not going to waste any more missiles because I've only got seven left. Could do with a second weapon but we've actually just destroyed them. We got one drone part, three fuel, 34 scrap. Which isn't that bad a return. However, I've seen better. Hoping for like uh, a chance to get a decent weapon. Uh, gonna try and save up some scrap if I can. So let's jump. Oh, I've got two stars. We're gonna go here first because that's not a star. Let's see what's over here, right? We've got a ship with only one shield, but a flat gun. So an Artemis is gonna go right on the weapons, uh, and burst laser is gonna go on the pilot system. I think that seems like a smart idea. Uh, Mantis, go over there and help. That should do it. They're yeah, probably going to take some damage with this. Boom. We've knocked it off anyway. They did hit us once, but it wasn't in that much. Burst laser on the weapons. They've got no pilot system at the minute. We've taken their man down. They are a man down. Let's heal up. Boom, boom. We've taken the weapons off completely. We aim for the shields. Uh, let's get you back on your relevant stations. Knock you off and put it back on engines. So I've hit the shields, but we missed one time. Oh, they fixed that, that's why. Don't know why I'm using missiles all the time, but I suppose when I'm up against a flat cannon, it seems to make sense. Boom, boom, we've hit their, uh, their driving system. That means while it's not fixed, they're not going to be able to do us any mischief. So the burst laser comes in. Hit some twice more. I'm gonna hit up there again. Should destroy me this next burst. Provided I don't get that fixed. They did get it fixed just in time. They are surrendering. It's a terrible surrender. 1 1 and 17. We've got 1 1 anyway and 22. So why don't you just give us that in the first place? Right, so we've got two stars. I'm thinking there's no point in going to that, that one. So we'll go here. Hopefully, this one will be slightly better. We've got 76 scrap. Continue. We have got weapons. The iron stunner. This iron weapon stuns crew inside the room for five seconds. Not a bad idea. Not a bad thing to have. Um, however, charge laser. You can charge two times, give it an addition, additional projectile. Uh, it's not very good then. It needs two power as well. So it can only fire two shots, so that's that's not a very good weapon at all. I don't in understand why that would be seen as a decent thing to buy that requires two power. Charge time? Six? Oh, it only fires fairly quickly, I suppose. Hmm. Fewer shots ready as a result, yes, yeah, fine. Right, we're going to leave that, we're just going to just fix this hole and carry on. Excuse me. Sneeze of the video. There's always a sneeze somewhere along the line. Right, so, I'm just debating whether to keep saving. I think it seems like a smart idea and I can't believe I went there. That's the only way I can get over there. So that's a waste of fuel, but oh well. We need to go that way. Hopefully find some more combat. Let's try to explore the... the uh, ooh, they've got three shields and a scary looking uh, ship. Right, we are going to need to Artemis on their shields, it's the only way we can actually da do damage. Uh, on this of course the uh, the asteroids actually hit them. There we go. Burst laser on shields as well. 
Boom, boom. We've set a fire in there, which is fantastic news for us. Hopefully, we can get another burst laser in there while they're putting out fires. The guy's going to fix it pretty quick. Unless, of course, I do that and destroy their mantis's face. They are still repairing, though. One shield, bar shield is up. Boom. They are trying to get away. They will do well to do so because they actually have no... Oh, they've lost two people. Uh, we will not accept surrender. They are probably going to die by an asteroid. Alright, continue. I'm just wondering whether, as these asteroids come in, these are going to get, like, improvements. <laughs> doesn't, seem, doesn't seem to be, no. No, if it says miss. Alright, okay, so we've got 89 scrap. We could do with another star of some description. I'm going to head this way first. Did well to say it had three shields. Uh, you arrive at Azalta's security checkpoint set up in a perimeter around the beacon. Traveling vessel, you will submit a crew profile to identify fugitives of the Empire. Don't have time for this nonsense. Attack! They have mind control. Uh, hmm. These shut doors, really. The scary thing is that they are going to mind control our man who's on weapons and he's going to take down our weapons. Unless I can... Well, I need to leave them in there in case they miss. I don't think actually they can hurt us. Uh, they could do, actually, if that's the same as the last one. Just go in there and just put him off. Before you take down out. I miss because we are going to need it. Right, it's run out, which is good. We can head back over there. Uh, we need to take down their... Sh we need to take down their Zoltan shield. We're actually out of power at the minute. Right, their shield is gone. Uh, just for... I don't think we will need to. Our shield's are actually down at the minute. But I'm going to try and take down their shields, just burst laser alone. I don't think they can actually do anything. They've mind controlled our pilot now, which annoys me slightly. We've got 0% evasion. On shields, please. Boom. Did they actually hit us there? They did, yeah. Go repair it now, schmuck. Alright, on shields again. Boom, boom. Right, now it's like... Oh, it's still got one. Let's keep on shields. I still don't think they can actually hit us. Boom, boom. Now they've got a Mantis, which is better at firing. Right, so their shields are offline. Next thing is, is that, because it's causing us some grief and suffering and pain. Let's run out. They must have turned it off. Burst laser on it. Boom, boom, boom. They've only got one crew member left. It just, uh, it just showed me that. Someone just improved. Probably the engine guy, Corey. Corey, indeed. Right, so we have taken a little bit of uh, damage. We've got quite a bit of scrap there as well, which was wasn't bad. Uh, Corey and Billy both need healing because they fought each other temporarily. They slapped him out of it. Right. So you two get back to your stations. And then we'll knock off that. Put that back on. 122 scrap. Definitely nothing to be sniffed at this early -ish stage. Ooh, excuse me. Can I get to there? I can. Right, so we're going to go down here first. <clears throat> just to see if there's another start. Intruders on board. Until you're, you're not, uh, able to jump away from the hostile space station, your senses will be disabled. You should deal with these borders first, though. Right, you're going to be in the med bay, which suits me to the T. Because I can walk in here with everyone, turn on said med bay, and we should be able to cope with this no problem. As soon as three people in there, this is a piece of pie. But Artemis's own ship, come on, boom. Alright, so everyone's going to be healed pretty quickly as well. Jorlak has improved in his fighting a bit. Crew damage. So he's uh, pretty effective at the minute. Right, so... Now we can... Turn off the med bay, put it back on engines. And then we'll go to the distress beacon. Because why the hell not? Asteroid field! <coughs> right, interfere and help the Zoltan. Help interfere and save the Mantis. So the Zoltan will have a Zoltan shield. So we're going to uh, help the Zoltan. Because that 
let's be honest, well, apart from the fact that their guns scare the living crap out of me, uh, they are going to do us quite a number uh, when it comes to... Normally, the boat, the, I just export, expected boarding, but uh, hopefully they won't fire too many shots. They actually hit us on those engines, but I hit them in their weapons, so they're like constantly changing them. And keep firing on them. Their guns do actually scare me somewhat. Boom, boom. Now they've got a fire in their, in their weapons room. They're not going to last much longer, especially when they've got uh, no oxygen as well. Let's keep firing. Boom, boom. That's one of the uh, mantis down. Can I take the other one down? It appears not. They're going to fix the oxygen. Let's take down the oxygen instead. Take down the enemy crew member. That work a treat. Um. Uh, you are, as you are salvaging the Mantis wreck, the Assault and Security Patrol returns with three other ships. You quickly salvage what you can and set off before they can stop you for questioning. There we go. So I took out all the crew members, so therefore I got the ship intact. 148 scrap. Definitely a good place to be. <laughs> Refraining from using it. Car is kind of hurt. You jump into a debris field that used to be Zoltan Cruiser. Unfortunately, it's NG Escort takes you for the attacker and retaliates. Right, they've sent something over. Hacking on our pilot system, which is terrible news. So, burst laser on the drone system. They've got that and that. I don't think they can actually damage us. I don't think. Depends if that can go through shields. I'm thinking, you know what, pilots. Pilot system's probably a good start. Or maybe just shield. Just go shields. I would obviously going to do that. They aren't going to miss us. But that lasted a long time. Oh, it's one of those level 2 ones. This could be uh, a problem. Uh, right, okay. We're going to have to fire everything at the same time. Drone system. In fact, burst laser. And Artemis. Can't do any damage, it seems. So, this is a bit of a stalemate. So as soon as that comes back online, we're jumping. That's all we can do, unfortunately. We can't win, not when they've got a level 2 defence drone. The only way I can keep doing it is if I eventually get like a shot through. But when I've got two shields, and I've only got three lasers and I can shoot one of them down, can't do anything, so rather than having a massive stalemate, I'm just going to move on. Let's go straight to the exit, I think. It's a bit of nebula. Could go there first. Try and maximise prof profit, why not? Right, we're up against a rock ship this time. And they've got a flat gun. However, it's only a sensors that aren't working. And our shields are still kind of down. Uh, which scares me slightly. Uh, we are going to fire on the shields. No, Artemis on the weapons. And we've got a second barrel. Shields anyway. Then burst laser can go on the. Where are they actually? We're in the med bay. That's fine by me. Get in there. I like swimwear. Let's just knock off uh, our engine slightly. Rockman, you're in trouble. Boom. Weapons off. Then in for the. Ah, oh, the shields didn't quite work. At least they missed. Just keep. Uh, Attacking the shields for the time being. Finally got a hit on it. They've teleported away. Get you back on sensors. Let's uh, put you back on full. Back on the... Oh, they actually went down a bit for the weapons. Uh, for their shields. Let's hit target the weapons again. Try and uh, preserve our uh, missile ammo. And just see what happens. At least we're going to win this fight. They're offering us a, a surrender, but it's not a very good one. I mean, four missiles isn't bad, I suppose, but their weapon's are actually co completely offline. So for that reason and that reason alone, we're in a good position here to finish off the ship. However, they seem to be keeping their shields up and running to some extent. Surprises me. It's offline now, though. And then we can target anything we want. Pilot system, maybe. Awesome music kicks in. And that's the end of that ship. That gives us a, a cool 21 scratch. That's actually worse than the offer they actually gave us. 
surprises 100 and the magic number right as we're in this safe haven for a second we're just gonna take this opportunity to heal Corey was doing quite well as a as a evasion man if that even makes sense uh, let's knock you off I'm wanting a, sh um, a star so we're gonna go to the exit first then if there's no star nearby then I might do some improvements to the ship because uh, you might be screaming why aren't you doing anything so we'll go to the NG home homeworlds uh, and here we go is there a star right off the bat there isn't so now I feel that we have to do something I two of them and two of them I'll power it up so we've only got 19 scrap and you watch the very next place I go there'll be a star and there'll be a weapon pre-igniter or something like that uh, so there's nothing there so that was a waste of fuel we'll go here Uh, we can't booby trap the mission. Oh, yeah, yes, we can. We can do that. Delay the, the fleet by two jumps, which allows us to explore some more stars. Or beacons, whatever you want to call them. So, three shields is a good pla place to be. We don't really want to repair because uh, we don't need to. No, of course, there's a star, so we'll go back on ourselves first. Because we've got, obviously, there's uh, two things. Um, right. As soon as you jump into the system, you receive a hail from a nearby civilian en engine vessel. Captain appears on your screen. Strange bug, can you assist with debugging? Well, listen to it. Hmm. Uh, Found malfunctioning mantis, please. It's human. Hmm. What you say? I've used the human crew and we usually end up getting it. I'll see what this does. It's blue, so to me it means it's good. We got scrap! And your crew member is forced to kill him. All right, so we've got we have a scrap or a crew member. Really, I could have done with a crew member. I just wanted to see what it did. But scrap is good towards going towards a is good when you're going towards a star. Who knows? We might get something of benefit. Now we've got a pain in the ass um, ship here because obviously they've got the biggest missile launcher known to to uh, the universe. Of course, it scares me somewhat. I, I don't know if you can tell that I am actually scared of that missile. That won't do anything to us. This will. As observe. Um, get in there, please. And you as well. It's burst laser. We've actually lost two bars of shield with that missile. That's why it's such a key thing to use. Right, when the burst laser is ready, we are going to be taking down our shields. Nice evasion there. So. Excuse me one second. H. Right, so missile on there. Burst laser on weapons. If it hits, which it does, very good chance of knocking off that big beastie missile launcher, and indeed it does, and we're stunned. Stone Call just came aboard. Right, so the weapons, are, the shields are still kind of down, but we still need to knock their weapons off completely, which that will probably help. And then. We will aim for the uh, shields again. We're a bit low on, on missiles. Don't know why we're not we're not managing to uh, claim any of them. Let's get back on sensors for us, please. You get back in there. Missile launcher is back online. So Artemis is going to go on that. Boom. They are actually surrendering, and there is na there is four missiles that are on offer there. So I'm going to take that, just because I don't want to take any more damage. I know they were pretty much dead. I just didn't want to fire, end up with another missile on his on his face. We're gonna to go to the store. Hopefully, we'll be able to get something. But somehow, I doubt it. But you never know. It's two pages. Yes, it's not very good. It has to be said. Uh, we could buy crew members. Mind control is okay. Ooh, excuse me. It's okay, but we don't really need to. So we'll just quickly just repair. Now I'm kind of glad that we did actually uh, improve our shields. Um, right, okay, so we've got some more areas to explore, so we'll go here first. We'll go to the left a bit. Right, the mon only other ship at the speaking hills, you finally have to much away and you find our trap. That scares the crap out of me, I know what that does. It is a Vulcan, and a uh, Vulcan gun thing. You'll soon see if I don't take down their shields pretty damn quick what it does. It, it takes a while to fire the first one. And it gets faster and faster and faster, and it's like a goddamn minigun. Oh, that's a very nice sight. What's his uh, evasion at? Thirty-two percent. That's not a bad place to be. Just fire on the shields again. Boom. We can take down that crew. 
one of them at least. No, he's gone on he's gone on the pilot system. I'm thinking missile. Boom! That's knocked off the main weapon. I'm gonna aim for that. I can leave him in a spot of bother with only one crew member. Hopefully. Yes, I'm gonna hit on it and then set a fire in it as well, which is very good. Slows them down somewhat, so we're definitely gonna hit the shields with the next shot, unless of course they get repaired up in time, but I don't think they will do because he's still putting out the fire. In fact, might be a smart idea that. Boom! Got another hit on him. It's fixed though. He's back on the weapons. Keep firing at the uh, another hit on that, so he's, he's going to fix it again. Can we get another hit on him? We've got no uh, evasion at the minute. He's a very fast repairer though. And he did get, actually get another hit on it, but I did take it down again. So we'll take it down again. The mist. Can we take him down? Yes, we can. Oh, they're surrendering. They're trying to. We will not accept surrender because you are pretty much screwed at this point if you stay where you are. Saying that, the ship will probably explode into a million pieces in a second. Oh, I missed. Damn. Oh, just one more hit. No, we missed. You know what? Ah, oh, I missed. They're getting the powering up the thing. <laughs> Come on, man. Now they're actually going to cause us some damage. Because that Vulcan is a beast. As you can see, they nearly got hit on us there. And now they have actually got a weapon on us. And they finally take them down after they do some do us uh, some mischief to our systems. Real pain in the, ba in the backside when you you think you've got the the, uh, the ship won. But one miss is all it takes. And then when you miss, I'll miss it straight after. It's just like, you just feel like... Uh, like, you know, banging your head against a brick wall. You know, like you do. Right, so everyone's healed again. Uh, get back in there. We're all set. 73 scrap is not a bad place to be, but obviously that star is quite useless. We're going to go here first. We do need to find a better weapon. Uh, another weapon. At least another weapon. Not so much a better weapon, just another weapon. Head down here. Uh, hmm... What weapons have they got? They've got three shields and three lasers, and they've got hacking as well. I'm just gonna strip the ship without activating it. Good to this distress beacon. And they've only got two shields, but they have got one of those beastie lasers, and they've got a teleporter. Right, so. I think Artemis has got to go on shields and burst laser on the weapons. Uh, Mantis. You might want to go in there with you. That was nice. And then has it hit? It has. On weapons, please. No, they didn't dis disable the missile launcher, unfortunately. But you'd think they would target that more than anything. Burst laser on that again for us, please. I'm not going to fire any more missiles if I can help it. They've teleported away. Uh, Maybe is still actually. Uh... Did I miss there? Did I really miss? I did miss. So they're back to full strength again. And of course they hit our oxygen. So get on it please. You're healed. You get back on sensors. You get over there. Right, burst laser on... In fact, Artemis on shields. Hit again. Nice one. Burst laser on weapons. We're not off the beastie weapon, which is the pri primarily primary target, should I say. Focus on shields. Boom, boom. Keep them down. I don't really, really want to use any more missiles because I'm running incredibly low on them. Just keep firing on the shields. I got one hit. He's nearly dead. we have got two that are nearly dead. Come on. You can do it. I have faith. The missile launcher's back on. Oh, as if you missed, man. Give him every opportunity to cause us some more pain and anguish. Unless, of course, they miss. 20%? Is that all? Get up, get up to 25. Get in there. There we go. We've got 35% chance of him missing, but it doesn't stop him from hitting us. Burst laser on shields again, please. You will die. Providing a hit, it doesn't say miss. Here comes another missile. That causes some more pain and anguish. Just stand there a second, please. 
Finally, we killed one of the crew members. Right, I'm just... I really don't want to use any missiles here. The back aboard! So, Mantis Man, you might as well get over here. And annihilate them in the face! Here comes another missile, but fortunately he missed! Boom! Another hit! One more hit will do it! Just keep focusing on that shield. Right, we're taking down one of their men, which is fine. Uh, the fire is now out, so we can close that up. Um, and then just open all doors a second. Just to let the oxygen flow, that's it. And then get back in there, please. Give us a bit of evasion. We're fi finally taking them down, but not before they take down. Ooh, that is dangerous. Uh, hmm. Nothing. I don't want to give you anything. We need as much as much as we can get. Right, Billy, you go help out in there. Uh, you might want to get healed up. Uh, you're okay, Corey, aren't you? Yeah. Let's power up the med bay. Let's fix the uh, drive system, pilot system. And then get to the med bay. You be get back to your sensors. This is going quite well now, uh, I find. I feel, should I say, apart from the, the lack of missiles, if I see like a swap drone parts for missiles, I'll be uh, ecstatic. Uh, but somehow I can't see it anytime soon. So we've got here then the exit, I think. So we'll head there. Don't forget to turn off. Oh, we found some uh, abandoned system. Scans re uh, reveal a nearby mining platform with some salvageable materials. I'm very grateful for that. If we could just find a star, we found a distress beacon. There is a star, but I can't make it back to the exit. Damn you! Oh well, we're gonna, I think it's distress. Hopefully we'll get some sort of reward, maybe a, a weapon. But, uh, I'm going to avoid it because I've got a feeling that they'll catch us. Better not risk it. We'll head to the exit because I knew we'd just have enough time to get to the exit. Right, so, ooh. Launch a missile. Nope. Okay, because I have said missiles. Next sector, we are heading into sector... One, two, three, four, five. Civilian or slug, slug home nebula. No, let's go to the civilian sector. Right, welcome to the new sector. What's, there's nothing right off the bat, so that we'll explore here so we can unlock all these to see if there's a store nearby. Um, so yeah, there's nothing. Great stuff. Return to base immediately. Great shot even. So, we're still not doing great. Um, escort, yeah, that's fine. Uh, we, we do definitely need some better weapons. Definitely has to be said. We're going to venture across to the right. And we are in a in a battle here, and they've got a big breach missile, and they've got teleporters. So, uh, Artemis is definitely going to be going on the shields. They're boarding us in the pilot room. You go and help. You should win that fight, because there's a Mantis in there. Mantis kicks ass. Right, so we've managed to land that there, we need to take down the shields even further. Thank you very much, it's very nice. That missile launcher does scare me, but the, another Artemis on the miss on the uh, on the shields. Oh, it's missed! Who's nearly dead? Griffin! Get in there for us please. They teleport away, you just stay there just to help with the evasion. Thank you very much. Get ready to fire another Artemis. And then burst laser on top. Oh, why do you miss? I'm out of missiles. I don't think I can do it. If they get to three shields, I'm going to have to teleport away. Or jump away. Either or. Just turn off the oxygen a second just while we heal up. That's going to hurt. Mm, this is bad news. Definitely when there's a big hole there. We are going to have to jump. Uh, we're going to jump down here. It's the only thing we can do. We need to heal up though, that's the only thing. Uh, we'll dot refueling. Hmm, we'll steal it. Why not? We have still got a <laughs> member on board. Uh, right, so, you're going to have to heal. You just go in and help them. We'll get ready to open all the airlock. We need to turn the oxygen back on actually. Right, he's now down. 
Right, okay, so... You need to get in the healing bay. Nice door noise, I don't know if you can hear that. Uh, Billy, you need to get in the healing thing. You were back in the senses. Right. We're all going to get in here and fix this hole. As soon as the oxygen comes through. No? Apparently not. Let's just fix it up as quickly as we can and then get healed up again. There we go. Let's close all doors. Right, you all want to get back to your positions, apart from Jorlak, who can get healed in the med bay, and then we can turn on the Artemis. Oh, I've got no Artemis. Which is why we need another sh another star. Oh, there's a star! Thank God! Right, okay. So, we can go to said star, hopefully find another weapon, so we can actually do some damage to ships. Please give us a weapon. Please don't give us a weapon. We have cloaking, though, but... The problem with that is... We, we will have cloaking, but we won't be able to fire, we won't be able to cause them any damage. However, that comes with a free combat drone. If it was a defense drone, which is 50, I could probably still get it. But you need power for drones. I don't actually have the power at the minute. Hmm. It's terrible. Although the defense drone would be very nice. Cloaking, I think he's going to be needed in the end game. We're going to go for it. It's probably a big mistake, uh, but we can power it, of course. Uh, and when we do evade, evade chance is 95%, which is fantastic. Right, so I'll just wait for it to cool down. It has done, which is good. At least I can, I can gauge how much uh, chance we've got of uh, of avoiding uh, problems. So we need to go. Should we go to the distress beacon or should we go? We'll go across here. Go to quest and back up. Oh, should have oh, should have repaired. I'm an idiot. Right, you stumble. They're trying to get away. Right, so what we shall do because I can't do any damage to them. Surprise, surprise. Is as soon as they fire their missile, cloak. So we just wait for the missile. There we go. Very good. Let's wait for them to jump away. It was all them. That's all we can do. Burst laser's not going to do anything. Might get a little bit better at firing. This is where it's going to hurt. That had to hurt. It missed. That was good. So, who's going to jump first? I've got another missile coming in. Can I? Oh, you're joking. We can still jump, though. There's another star. So, we'll go there. With the firing uh, engines. But at least we can probably... Oh, you're joking me! Iron Stunner, though, at this point. I could sell the Artemis. No missiles, so I might as well at this point. I'm going to buy the, the Iron Stunner just because it's an opportunity to dis disable their... Uh, their uh, weapons. Just get out of there. Car it. Get into the med bay. You get on the sensors as well. I forgot about that. Yes, we know our engines are critical. We are just going to go to the storm and just fix two bars. So once that fire's gone out... Let's close all doors in a minute. This is going not as bad. It's going a lot worse than what I thought it was going to do. Um, at one stage. Just need to turn that on. Hmm. Right, okay. So now that's done. Uh, now you're healed. You can get over there and heal it. And you as well. And then we shall knock off the med bay. Two bars on the evasion. I'm just hoping now that the iron stunner will do us uh, well, will give us some benefit. And it's very, it's, it is definitely hope. So, yeah. So if you heard that vibration, I just got a message. Right. So now we're repaired. We're going to move on to this quest. Iron Stunner Burst Laser. Let's see if I can do it. Oh, that was nice. That's another star. And if there's weapons... Oh, weapon pre-igniter. That would be the best thing in the world. I had that on my best run. Definitely is uh, important. Do have cloaking though this time, which does fill me with a little bit of hope and joy. Another star. Stars galore. 
What this does, George does. We'll have to go to the exit here. Let's see if this iron stunner can benefit us. Ignore the station because we can't do anything. It's just giving us things that we can't use. So I think we can go up here one and then go back. It uses fuel, but we ain't got no missiles. That's why I've got rid. Oh my god. Why is everyone wanting to help us when we have no scrap? Dreadful. Right. Next sector. We're entering. Energy controlled. Sector 6. Which is a lot further than what I ever anticipated. With an iron stun and burst laser too, I don't think we're going to do go very far. Uh, we're going to take damage here. See? I knew it. And we're also going to be under fire as well. Billy, let's get on the O2 please, because that could be a great... Don't tell me it's a level 2. Is that a level 2? It's a level 1. That's fine. They've only got two shields. We should be able to do this. Iron Stunner, the shields. That scares me crazily. That's going to cause us some serious pain and anguish. That is why we are going to target the weapon system. And we miss. Fantastic. I'm gonna, f I'm gonna, well, I don't know whether to cloak or not at the minute. They don't have any missile launchers. Let's just cloak anyway. Just give us a chance. You get back on weapons. I want you to, I want auto fire. I want you to auto fire on that. And burst laser. I'd like you to hit it, please, if you will. Ow. That actually goes through shields. And I'm pretty sure I had three shields there. Get on those weapons. Actually hit them, please. So we'll keep attacking that. Good hit. On the weapons again. Miss. Thank you. I instant it. Fortunately, I don't think they had it. I think it probably goes through two shields, I think. I think we were okay there. Wait for the iron stunner. Ooh. Thank you. Right. Boom, boom. Still the wrong weapon. Although it probably works good in unison there. Said weapons at the minute. Let's go on the shields. Ooh. On the weapons. Ooh. Not one of the weapons offline, anyway. The one that can cause us any damage, anyway, because we are running a bit low on health. Let's fire again. Oh, we hit one of the, the things. Let's try and hit the shields. We hit the shields, that's great. Slows down the repair. Right, so, wait for the burst laser to charge up. Fire upon shields again. There's two people in there. That's very nice. Damaging the shields now. I'm confident the cat causes any damage. With that. Fire again. And fire again. Boom, boom, boom. We've killed one of the mantises. But the weapons are back online. But that doesn't that shouldn't be a problem for us. Let's keep the uh, shields offline. We should be okay here. As if we missed! At least we knocked off one of the uh, weapons anyway. So we'll just uh, disable the pilot system this time. And then we'll burst laser the crap out of the weapons. We should hit them here. Five seconds it says. Uh, not quite, but we did enough to kill them. Quite a long fight. We did take a little bit of damage. But we got some scrap in return for once. So the Iron Stunner is proving quite effective at this stage. Um, we do have a star, but we're not going to go there right away. We're going to go up here. fight against something that has a missile launcher, which hopefully we can use our cloak to our advantage. Uh, however, our evasion chance has gone down quite considerably. So, straight away, we're going to, well, we're going to wait. Wait for anything to come at us. I've got an iron stunner, which I'm going to fire at the shields, no doubt. And we missed, which means we can't do a thing. Get ready with the cloak in. Only knock it to 75% chance. Which is a shame. That's cloak. A miss, which is 
fantastic for us. We're going to fire again at the shields. We've missed again, so there's no point in me even firing. So now we could take some damage from the next missile. I'm pretty sure that this will not get back online in time. 15% evasion chance isn't going to be very good. Let's remember to fire. Hit. Thank you. No what? I think it can take one damage. We've actually damaged the shield somewhat now. Which helps us. Here comes another missile. Here comes a cloak. That's very nice. Iron stunner. Boom. Another hit. Gotta really work on those weapons, really. Fire on the shields. Try and get one of weapons. Nope, we missed one with one of the shots. Here comes another missile. Can I get it on time? I can't just. That timing was absolutely crucial. Boo oh what? This is gonna be a long fight, I feel. They're gonna end up causing us some damage, so we could end up losing here. That's probably fired a bit too soon. Nope, missed. When they're missing, you can't really do anything about it. Can I get this in time? Just, just in time. I was proper clicking. In fact, no, just wait a few more seconds. Fire. And we miss. So I can't do anything this time. So I'm hoping. Iron Stunner. Let's hit it. Another hit! That's a fantastic hit because it's fire. Causing them serious pain and anguish. Oh, they took down the sensors and severely hurt Jorlak. You need to get in there, my man. Uh, iron Stunner on shields. Fire lasers on it. Oh, one hit on it is enough. Right, they're fixing the sensor room, that's fine. Let's wait a bit longer. That's very nice. Another fire as well, which should kill one of them. Oh yes, it killed one of the crew members. Right, you my good sir, get in the med bay. We're dead! <laughs> Didn't see that coming at all! No, we're doing just starting to get on top of that fight as well. Oh, oh well. A decent run. Uh, we just couldn't get any decent weapons. That's the, the that's the problem, eh? Didn't have any resort to getting rid of the Artemis and getting the Iron Sunner because we weren't getting any uh, influx of uh, missiles as well, which was a real pain. Uh, so yeah, one last explosion, Max your fate. Uh, we did okay, but it's still nowhere near the top four scores. Uh, so yeah, as always, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, why not press that like button? Uh, and if you'd like to subscribe, because uh, it's free of course, then why not do so? It is uh, free, like I said, it's free to do so, and it will help us out greatly. Um, so yeah, hopefully you'd want to see some more videos like this, or, or the Minecraft uh, series that, I've seen, that I'm currently doing. Uh, so hopefully you'll join us next time. And until then, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.